Welcome back. What is this? This is a giant puffball. It's actually a mushroom that you can find growing in the in the forest and on the fields, kind of around this uh, midsummer, late summer kind of time. Now, giant puffball they can get up to massive size like this. This is absolutely ridiculous to think that this is actually a fungus. Really amazing. Now you've got small puffballs which, uh, when they grow in the autumn a little bit. They, uh, when you step on them, they just release kind of the spores into the air like that. So you just, it's like a poof, just gets into the air. But the giant puffballs, the small ones would not be edible really. Only when they're young and there's a special way to pick them. So I wouldn't even bother. But these, these are really delicious uh, to be prepared. So what should we do with this? Now I'm gonna do two little things with this. First one will be just to slice it up and put it on a, on, a, on a pan or in a pot and just sort of put it from one side to the other side and then it's kind of ready with a little bit of salt and some herbs and it's ready to be eaten. Another bit, because this is just massive and uh, I don't want to be frying everything up so I'm just going to put it in the soup with other bits and pieces. So, right, so whenever you get your mushrooms just you need to make sure that you clear them out a little bit because this is, this is the way where it was growing from. So you need to clear it out a little bit, wash it and uh, we're gonna do this just here. Just give it a slight, nice little wash. All right. And now we are ready to get in. All right. So I'm not even sure this, this knife will be enough for this. So what I really want to do is just to slice, nice circle with this. Nice little slice. Circle it around. By the hell, I should have probably sharpened my knife. This is just not good enough. And, ooh, now we're getting in, right? So, when this gets brown inside, it's not edible anymore, but when it stays light like this, it is actually really, really nice. So, nice little slice I'm gonna put there is a bit of a coconut oil because it's got high melting temperature than normal oils. So I'm just gonna put that there. And just switch it on. There we go. Mm. And all I need right now is this to melt, which will happen in a second. Right, now I've got some salt in here somewhere. Sea salt without any additives, no added magnesium, no, no added iodine. That's absolutely unnecessary. So just very pure sea salt and just chuck it in. There we go. And it's gonna stay a bit. Now I can just put a little bit of salt on top of it. There we go. So it has a, actually a nice taste. There we go. Uh, so as you can see, it's really nicely golden and that means that it's going to be done all inside. Let the oil drop, don't burn your house down. Okay, and now it will be ready for eating, right? Obviously when it cools down a little bit. So you just want to... To preserve the taste, I wouldn't just combine it with too many herbs and different things, but you know, maybe you can put a bit of a chili sauce on top of it or different herbs or whatever you want to. This is the easiest way to prepare large mushrooms like this. Now, so this is just with, um, just, just with the salt. So hopefully it's not too warm anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 That's really lovely though. Mm. So it actually is really, it's almost like it's, it's got breadcrumbs in there. So it's um, when it fried from both sides. Now, with the mushrooms in the UK, actually, um, we have people who commercially picking mushrooms nowadays, which is a shame because they're destroying the, the forests and, and the fungi inside and just they cannot regrow and stuff like that. So this actually has been donated by a friend who grows them in the garden. So, you know, lucky them, right, having this in the, in the garden. So this is a very easy way to sort of prepare this. We could do lots of different slices and stuff like that. Mushrooms are great for many things. They, they, they actually, 
you've got many cinnamon mushrooms, you've got so many different types of mushrooms that have so many medicinal benefits for our bodies. Starting with getting rid of heavy metals from the body and doing all different sorts of things. So mushrooms as such, eat as many as you can, make sure that they are edible so you don't end up in a hospital being uh, with, with your stomach being pumped out. There are some mushrooms uh, that actually you will not survive eating them. But if you know what to eat, they are great sort of uh, variety into your in, into the, the, the things that you eat. So I hope this was useful. I'm gonna go on and just make a soup with this as well. Just chuck it in a pot in small cubes and it's gonna taste great as well. So yeah, enjoy and I'll see you next time.